It is day two at TCT uh, 2014 here in Washington, D.C., and I'm Peter Block for On the Scene. Chronic total occlusion issues have now raised their ugly head, and they are always difficult to deal with because chronic total occlusions are not easy. And with me is Dr. Jang from Korea, who has just finished talking about a study about whether to use IVIS or not in CTO treatment. So, Dr. Chang, tell me about your study. Uh, this study is a randomized trial to showing that a uh, lot of IVIS in the CTO intervention. Uh, we randomized the patient after wire crossing. You know that uh, the lot of IVIS in uh, wire crossing in CTO is very important, but that is very highly dependent on the operator's skill. So not easy to randomize. So uh, our study is focused to the uh, evaluation of uh, vessel size using IBUS as well as the stent uh, optimization. That's a very cute little wrinkle to make mm. sure that uh, the whole business of the wire crossing is yes. taken out of the equation. Right. Okay, the wires across, and then you randomized IBUS versus non-IBUS? IBUS guided versus angel guided. And I guess the easy answer or the easy question is, what did you find? Uh, what I found is that IVUS is helpful to reduce the MACE, uh, cardiac death, MI, and TBR. So that's a combined endpoint, isn't yes, it? Yes, completely. Can, can you break that up a little bit for us? Uh, in this study, we allow to uh, cross over. Uh, after crossover, the difference is getting bigger. So that means that IVUS is very, very helpful to reduce the composite endpoint. As I remember in this study, about 35 patients actually did cross over, didn't yes. they? To the IVIS side yes. uh, for various reasons, but mostly to evaluate stents and so forth. But nevertheless, a large crossover. And then after that, uh, tell me what the differences became. Yeah. Uh, before crossover, intention, intention to, uh, protocol, uh, intention to treat is uh, the difference is getting bigger after uh, crossover. That means that. Uh, IVUS prevent the TBR as well. So IVUS seems to be critically important not only for success but preventing target vascular re right. vessel revascularization right. in the longer run. Right. Right. So if you're doing a CTO, I guess what are you going to use? Are you going to use IVUS or not? Uh, you should use IVUS. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. So there's your answer. If you're doing a CTO, it looks like clearly IVUS is going to be helpful both in crossing and in vascular revascularization later on. And uh, if you're gonna do a CTO, use IVIS.